Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting with Farouk, Julius. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to Ahmed Jidat, the famous epic question which no Christian can answer until today. Okay. Guys, I think I answered the question, but a lot of you are trying to until today the topic like until today. Guys, he is a Muslim. We are Christians, and I feel we're going to try our best to answer this question again. So. Let's go straight into this. With regards to him claiming to be God, you see, I have been, the, the, the pastor will say, challenging. What I say, I'm appealing to my Christian brothers, learned people. In my meetings all over the world, when I have a chance, I said, brothers, sisters, I would like you to do me a favor. If Jesus is God, I would like you to show me one verse, only one. If Jesus is God, my first question, I would know how you continue. Mm. What is Jesus God? Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God. So Jesus is not God. Brother? Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Yes. Good. Thank you. Wait, in what sense? Listen. The Bible. Mm. So, let's see. Bearing in mind that Jesus never called himself God, never called himself the Son of God. So, we are talk, so now we are talking about this. Jesus actually called himself, himself the Son of God, God. in the Bible. He said, yeah, Wait, is it in the Bible? Yes. Listen, wait. So, I, whilst we are talking, let me explain I'll first. Out, let me see. He said, I and my Father are one. Doesn't mean in the literal what sense. The in the literal sense. When, when you say you and your father is one, what is the meaning? Listen. Okay. The reason why I'm saying his God is that okay, let, let in Christianity, good. we believe in the Holy Trinity. Good. That okay. the, the, the Son, the why Father, do you believe and in the Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit. Wait. <laughs> no, me, I have this question for Christians. Like, I'm, I'm explaining. Okay. Let me finish. Come on. <laughs> so, the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Right? And we believe that they are one but act in three different ways so listen when john the baptist um baptized jesus christ jesus was in the water that's the sun that we christians be he was baptizing god listen, because, no. he, because he believed jesus is god so he was baptizing god yes listen okay. listen listen when John the Baptist baptized Jesus, he was baptized in water. In the water, like in real life. Physical. Water. <coughs> That's Jesus, the, Jesus Christ, the son. Jesus then, Christ, yes. the son. A dove came. Came. I, I think you know that story. I know the dove. Yes. yes. That's, real, that's, yeah. that's what we Christians be, we believe that is the Holy Spirit. It signifies. Yeah, it signifies, it, it signifies the, Holy, the Spirit. Holy Spirit. Then the voice that spoke, this is the Son whom I'm truly. Who I'm well pleased. Yes, who, who I, I'm, I'm well pleased. That's what we Christians believe that is the Father that spoke. Who wrote this thing? It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Yes. Who wrote the Bible? <laughs> Are you having this again? <laughs> are you, no, are you no. this? Like, let's just be okay. Clear. Okay, you said who, who wrote the Bible? God, true humans. Okay, true humans. Humans. Okay. All right, let's continue. Yeah. As I a, have... Sorry, as a Muslim, I believe um, Isa Ali Salam is the servant of God. Thank you. He is the servant How of is God. he the servant of God? Because he was doing things that did God told him to do. He did not. Di yes, he has said it numerous times in the Quran that he is the servant of God. Most of the things that you guys are saying it like Jesus performed on through his own violation. Jesus did things that he was instructed to do. Did Jesus decide that I'm going to raise the dead today? I don't know. Listen, don't. listen. The, most of the powers that Jesus yes, okay, okay. Um, how do Continue. I explain this? How do I explain this? Um gosh, what explanation do I have for this? Jesus did things that he was instructed to do. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. that's the best way I can actually explain it. And he was given the power to do so by so someone which, contra which contradicts the whole point of you saying Jesus is God. Listen, because listen. if Jesus is God, he does not need power from above to okay. do what he wants to do. Okay, wait. So let me answer that. I think the, the, the other day we did a video yeah. and 
one of them asked us, show me where Jesus said is God. But he, he added on ambiguous. Yes, that word. Or vaguely. Listen, Jesus said that he's God. But not, not like he's God in real sense. I am that I am. I am and even that I am. I met the dad said in the Bible, I means God. So listen, when Jesus was traveling with the um, Israelites to the promised land, when he's talking, he was like, I will protect you. I, God, God will protect you. And now, he said, if he, he was God, why? And he made that statement without having he, a backup plan. Obviously, he could back it up. Yes, okay. Before he said he could protect the whole. Okay, so I'm, 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 I'm coming to the question you asked. You said, like, if Jesus was God, why was he receiving instructions? Listen, for you to come to onto this earth, there's a law that you must pass through human. A, like you, you must pass through a, a woman, sorry, a woman. For you to live on this earth, earth as a human being, you, you must pass through a woman. There's no way a human being can come to this earth and live without passing through a woman. And live as a human being without I mean, I know this thing is out of point, but then Adam was created without him. What? what he was the only man, him and Jesus in this world. Listen, you said I'm out of point. I'm, I'm setting the point. No, I'm not saying I'm out of I'm, Like what I said was actually out of point okay. because you said that a law is like for, um, for you to be on earth as a human being, you yes. have to pass through man. So I said that although it's out of the point for me, but, for you. But okay, okay. No, oh, you don't understand what I'm trying to say. Like, I was trying to make a statement that was not related to what you are saying. Okay. So, I'm saying that what I'm saying is out of point, but then Adam was created without a woman. Okay, so you... Wait, let me finish. Now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, okay. So, now, one of the reasons why I'm saying Jesus is God that he was the only human being who came to earth through a woman without a man. Without yes. the woman having an intercourse with the man, that is what that is that is what makes him. No, God. wait. That's what, what makes him God. One of the things that makes him and different. He was, he was his story was foretold years before he came. And he says Jesus is hundred percent human. So you agree with him now that Jesus is God? Yes, I said Jesus was the son of, the son of God. Him being the son of God, he couldn't make him God. Yes, like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is Farouk Habib. Wait, your name is Farouk Habib. Bambi, don't tell you me right being, now. No, you being Farouk. <laughs> you being Habib, actually. You are the first to even no. ask him how Jesus is the son of God. I asked him the word Trinity. The word Trinity is not mentioned in the Bible. And, like, I feel I'm still having issues with the word Trinity. Okay. That was actually what I asked. And no, I wait. feel like I was explaining. Okay. Mm -hmm. You feel like you explained it. Okay. I was explaining, like, yes. So, listen. One of the things that I'm saying that Jesus is God is his birth. He, he was the only human being on earth who was 100% God, 100% man. Now, the reason why he was receiving instruction from God is that he was 100% human being. He was 100% man. As human beings, we follow God. We, we follow the instructions of God. We receive instructions from God to live on, on this earth. So, if, if, if you had read the Bible, when, before they were, before they were coming to arrest Jesus, he was praying. Now ask me, why would a God pray? Because he, he was in the Very, state. very good question. Yes. Ask me, why yes. would the God, why yes. would God pray? And Who is God praying to? Wait, and I said because he was in the state of a human. He was in the flesh of a human. Okay. He was always communicating. With human his has a weakness. Human has weaknesses, and he is hundred percent man. Okay, all right. That, that's why right. him understand. as a god, he is praying because he was hundred percent man. He is a human being. Okay. He had that weakness. Okay. So you, your only reason for Jesus being God is because he is the Son of God. Yes, that's that equals this being human God. Okay, a god or God. That's a different thing. <laughs> a god is a deity. <laughs> God you said make him a god. You sound like uh, I made you that. Let's I'm not so, no, genuinely speaking, I'm not really listening to you guys with an open mind. You said you sound like a god. I did not say he sounds like a god. You said, you said he's a son of God. I, that equally makes him a god. I think you're saying he sounds like that a god. That equally makes him what? A god. 
That makes him God. That makes him God. Don't mind your thoughts. <laughs> like, let's continue. Please. Statement anywhere in your Bible, any version of the Bible where Jesus says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. And by God, even tonight. Even tonight, if Pastor Stanley can open his Bible and tell me, says, come on, read. I'm prepared to put my neck on the guillotine. Chop. Okay, please. I have a question. I have a question. As Muslims, okay, so why do you worship Allah? Because he's God. Well, simple. That no, no, no. Yes, yes, that's yes, that's yes. Because he's God. But like, why? No, yeah, he's God. We, we, we know that. But why? Okay. If you are trying to get my question, <laughs> I'm listen. Trying. The reason why Jesus didn't mention that He's God on His own is that because He created human beings to worship Him. So who created human beings? God created human beings to worship Him. So Jesus did not cre did not tell people to worship Him because because He created human beings to worship Him. Listen, don't contradict me here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Le listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like it's like. Jesus can't praise himself. He, he can't just say, I'm God. Worship me. Like, I'm God. I'm, I'm the owner of things. That's why he created human beings to worship him. So, as human beings, we are the ones who, who are going to proclaim that he is God. He's the owner of the universe. He's, the, he, he's immortal. He can do this. He can do this. That's the job of humanity. We, we take care of, of the creation he made. And now we worship him. Because I think it's a lot that as humans, we can't please ourselves, right? Somebody has to compliment you. You can't just dress, hey, Charlie, I'm fine. No, I, we can't do it. We can't. You can do it, but like... We can actually do it, but that's yes. not You won't actually feel it. Like that's not Yes. Someone will tell you. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know that one of the job of humanity, the reason why God created humanity is to worship him, is to... Proclaim his name if if you, you, you have heard. But that I don't feel. We but I think you, Jesus. you you Muslims too you, you do that. Uh -uh. I, I'm not saying worship Jesus. Jesus. God. We worship God. Who do you yes. worship? This is not God. Simple. That's the that's the clear thing. What else are you looking for? No, he's saying. Um, show me where Jesus said worship me, or show me where Jesus said I'm God. That's why I, I said. I don't think we worship you, Jesus. We worship God. Who is God? Who is Jesus? <laughs> no, but what Julius said. Who is Jesus? Jesus is God. Simple. Who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus to me? Jesus is the son of God. Which translates to Jesus being God. Who do you worship? Bambi, you're confusing God. yourself. Thank you. So please continue. Yeah. Maybe I'm having, I, I told you before, I'm having difficulty understanding the Trinity. This is not Trinity. And but I'm when, when it comes to Jesus and God, like, it's actually in the Trinity. Because that's you just told me you don't believe in the Trinity. I, I say I'm having issue understanding. You said because the, because the Trinity was not mentioned in the Bible according to you. Um, at this point, at this point, I am listening to what you guys are feeding me. Listen, oh come, come on, like at this point, I'm so not even arguing. I'm not even arguing. I'm not even arguing. You I'm guys, to what you're your, your, your problem is if something is not mentioned in the Bible, you don't believe it. I thought you guys are supposed to follow what was written in the Bible. Of course. Exactly. I, so, I, I, and we are doing that. God, so why are you saying God, that if something is not mentioned in the Bible, okay, you don't believe so listen, it? Listen. Okay, so you've heard the Trinity. The Trinity, what does it stand for? Pa, Christianity, God, the Father, uh, God the Father, um, God the Son, the Holy Spirit. And that's the I don't know Thankfully, I have a Christian here who is having issues with the Trinity. So it's not like I'm one-sided here on it. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. But okay, so Trinity. Maybe the word Trinity might not be mentioned in the Bible. But God, the Son, God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, they are mentioned in the Bible. Wow. I don't really read the Bible like that intensively or to that chapter actually, but... Let's, let's continue. Speak off as you like, but... Produce the authority of Jesus. That Jesus said, I am God. Jesus said, worship me. But you know what? You watch the 10 minutes, the last 10 minutes. You watch. I said, simple English. I'm talking simple, basic English. I wanted the words of Jesus, where Jesus says, I hope you all understand this English I'm talking. 
where Jesus says, I am God, where Jesus says, worship me. I hope you will bear this in mind in the next 10 minutes that uh, the, the pastor has, where that he'll be able to quote, show me a verse where Jesus is saying, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. And you'll never find it, because my neck is on the guillotine. Jesus claimed himself to be God. And he did it clear and easy to understand for everyone that reads the Injil. Uh, the pastor made a statement. Jesus claimed himself to be God. It's all being recorded. He claimed... Show it to Claimed. me. Please, show it to me. <laughs> <laughs> show it to me. You show it to me. Jesus says, I'm God. When he says, worship me, I'm prepared to get baptized tonight. No wasting time. No wasting time. I must thank the Almighty. I say, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah for saving my neck. The pastor, he had 10 minutes and the Bible in his hand, he couldn't give what I was asking. I said, one phrase, one sentence in the Bible where Jesus says, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. Thank God, he failed. And I knew that, therefore I took a chance. Otherwise, I would never have taken such a chance. Thank God it's good. Seriously. Concerning Mr. D. Dot, uh, tonight I allow myself to become angry because I experience a dishonest behavior. And I am full of wrath because Mr. D. Dot behaves like a Nazi officer questioning... Silence, yes. please. Yes, Silence, questioning please. a poor, imprisoned man under torture. See, it was mentioned in the Bible. Oh. The pastor, like, if emotions well, that was, that get... Was, that was not what was asked, though. It was asked... This was the prophecy. Uh, was, of course, about it. Jesus. Yeah, exactly, we are looking for where Jesus himself said it. That's what he that's he did, about. but it was vague. Listen, you must know yeah. I, I doing that because you know that in the Bible, he did, he, did, he did not mention that. He didn't say that. I know that he didn't say that I'm God. There's no way in the Bible that Jesus mentioned that I'm God. But vaguely, he did mention that I am God. I am that I am. Even Ahmed that said that I me God means God. I think you, you were here, right? And you also I said mean, I am my father and one. Okay. A poor imprisoned man under torture. I know it's a mistake. Because that, that you mistake. demand from Jesus <laughs> he that uh, he shall present oh, okay. himself according to how you want him to form his vocabulary. And Mr. Didat, Jesus is greater than you yeah, are. I, I, I agree with him. And when he declares That's that he is God, I found and the Bible very declares that this all was by the person that did this was what I'm this was what I'm saying. Yeah, no, like, even the person that did even a child uh, should understand that if Jesus tells that to me is given all might and power, even a child understands, then you should pray to him.
no, 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 no Christian can prove that Jesus said is God because it's not in the Bible. I know that okay. we all know that. Okay. But vaguely, vaguely, he he mentioned by by it, it, like it wasn't clear. There are many parts in the Bible that he mentioned that he vaguely said, "I am God." Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying that even I made it that say said that. I in the Bible means God. So why is he arguing now? And something when in, he's not in arguing book, now. This is just Revelation. simple. This is simple English. Wait, wait. He's not arguing now. This is just simple Come English. Come on, listen, listen. It's just simple English. It, yes, I know it's simple English. Show me where you say say is God. Simple English. Simple. Wait, wait. He didn't show in the Bible. There's no way Jesus said is okay. God. Show but me where you know Bible that is written. Muhammad is going to come. <laughs> on on. Show me where it's written. Oh, no, the brother, the brother. Oh, I don't know claimed, No, people claim that uh, Muhammad was talked about in the Bible. Okay, fine. So, if you guys don't believe that Muhammad was oh, made reference to. Like, please, you, you said something that showed me in the Bible where Jesus is God. I, I think you also get mad. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not no, getting mad. No, 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 I'm, I'm talking no, about no, like, <laughs> You said, show me in the Bible where Jesus said he's God. Now, I'm asking you uh, that simple question. M- maybe not to the audience, please. Okay. I'm asking, like, Show me in the Bible where the Bible said Muhammad is a prophet and he's going to come. Please show me, please make sure his name is written there also because no. it's not like if, 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 the way you guys if, if actually, you want to ask a question, you should be like, okay, it's so in the Quran. Was there anywhere in the Bible in the Quran where Allah mentioned that he's God? Yes, a lot of places. A lot of places. That is like, I am God. He said it in the, in the Quran. Ya Rabbi, if you, want to, if you want to refer to Allah in the Quran, Ya Rabbi. So listen, Allah. we Christians believe that we are worshipping the same God, but it's just in different languages. What I'm trying to say is that in English, we, we say God, right? And in, in Arabic, Arabic, we say Allah. Allah so if Allah, Allah says he is God, and we are worshipping the same God, so like, why, why, if... Do you understand what, like, where, where I'm going? I, I guess where you're going. I feel this, this dates back to Abraham. Wow. Yes, no, that's the truth. Because we believe that Isaac was the promised child. But who was the first child at all? Ishmael. Yeah. They believe that Ishmael was the promised child. This is where the confusion starts from. Like, the difference be- because we all, we believe in the same prophet. Smile. In what sense is he the prophet? When when wait when who who was the I did not really wait. I did not really um, go deep into the prophet also, but I know that um, Ibrahim Ali Salam gave birth to two children, okay. Ismail. So who was about to be sacrificed before God gave him the ship? Isaac. I think it was Ismail. Yes. No, it it, it was this this is the conf- like this is the beginning of it. Oh really? So in your Quran it's Ishmael. Yes. Oh, and it's I think, icy. I think, I think I'll you see, my, it's like, it's like, no, you are correct. It's like, you are correct, actually. You are correct. You see, like, who, like, who changed it? Because if you want to be honest, um, I think it was actually the miraculous child. But Ishmael is actually the first child. Oh, really? So in Quran, Ishmael was the one who was going to you sacrifice. You see, a lot of Christians I don't know, know things was about the Quran actually. A lot of Christians don't know. So, wh- where was Isaac by then? And wh- what happened to Isaac in the Quran? Um, I don't know. I think um, God instructed Ibrahim to sacrifice. I think Ibrahim was not clone who was going to sacrifice. Then God told him that he was going to sacrifice his son. And then when he was about killing him, then God brought the lamb or yes. ram or something. And then he should replace it with him or something like that. And at the end of the day, both of he and his child built the Kaaba, which is um, in Saudi Arabia right now. The holy is usually referred to as the house of Allah. Over the years, they've gone through several renovations. But the initial um, construction was made by Ibrahim Ali Salam and Ismail. So, sure. wait, so like in the Bible, what happened to like Isaac and Ishmael when Abraham was dividing their properties? Like, what happened? No, after, I, don't, after I do not know about that. I but it's in the Quran. I do not know about that. This can go with it. I would definitely and look please it up. Come, come to me. I, would definitely I, look I want it to up. know. Like it, it's very interesting. I want to know. Hmm. But I feel everything this back then, and you saying Jesus is not God is actually okay. And was uh, Ishmael's mother mentioned Quran? 
Sarah, yes. What? Maybe? Yeah, Sarah. I Sarah. think his first child, uh, his first wife, he didn't, he and his first wife didn't conceive for a very long period of time. And then his first wife gave Ibrahim he, a meat or something. Yes. Then is Hagar missing in the Quran? Hagar. Was it Hagar? I think it's Hagar. Hagar, the second. Yeah, Hajar. Yes, Hajar. she was mentioned in, in the Quran. She was mentioned in the Quran. I can confirm that for you. Okay. Hmm. I, this is the first time hearing it. I, I didn't know. It's very yeah, interesting. The more we go about this, I gradually figure out some things. And I feel I'm going to get to the root of it sooner or later. Guys, thank you for listening to this point. I know most of us didn't listen to this open minded. We didn't listen to this open mindedly, but please take it as it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, share share like, share, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.